Hey everybody, Slick Reviews coming at you with another review. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, some Burberry shoes that I picked up. Um, so I've got the box sitting in front of me. Haven't even looked at it myself, so we're going to go through this together. Uh, real quick, we'll look at the website so we can show you what we're going to get into today. Uh, so there, these are some uh, shoes that I've been looking at for a while. And uh, Burberry just uh, started doing their spring sale. So I leapt on these because, uh, like I say, I've been looking at them for a while. And um, yeah, so I decided to pull the trigger. Uh, so as you can see, uh, normally these shoes run about 475 bucks, which is why I didn't have them until today. <laughs> um, as you can see, they're right around 210 right now on, on the Burberry sale. And um, yeah, that's a lot for some trainers, but uh, you know, whatever is what it is. Um, so by the time you watch this video, uh, unless you're watching it right as it's fresh, uh, you may not be able to get some of these. Uh, usually these things go on sale and then uh, Burberry dis discontinues them. They may uh, still carry this line, but uh, you'll just have to check for yourself. Uh, I picked the, the brown version. I think that looks better with the check pattern. You know me, I'm all about the check. Uh, they do have a black. Not for me personally. I don't think the black looks good with, uh, you know, next to the, the brown check pattern and everything. That is what it is, but they do have that version. That version is not on sale, from what I can tell. Uh, that one's still at 475 and again, uh, all that information is very uh, time dependent, depending on when you watch this video. Uh, but if these are still around, if you're watching this a couple months from now, um, this will be your review. All right, so that's enough of that. Uh, so let's get into the box here. Now, uh, my local store, you, you guys have seen my videos before. Um, I usually head up to uh, the store here at Mall of America in Minneapolis. And that's where I get most of my stuff. Uh, but they don't carry shoes for some reason. Uh, so I had to order this online. This was my first online purchase with them. Um, so first thing i got to tell you is their customer service didn't really help me out. Uh, they shipped through UPS. I wanted to just go and pick it up at the facility or a store. And they didn't let me do that. It had to be shipped to my house. So I had to have somebody here to sign for it. That part I didn't really care for. Um, I tried talking to their customer service and they were not very helpful at all. Um, that is what it is. So well, let's just get into it here. Like I said, I'm diving in for the first time with you guys. Uh, so it came in a black bag, um, very reminiscent of some shops you may go to that uh, <laughs> you walk out with a bag that um, doesn't say what you bought, but everybody knows what you bought, you know what I mean? So it came in something like that, I imagine, so it's not very identifiable, um, so nobody knows what's inside, that it's valuable, you know, stuff like that. So it came in, you know, just a plain white box, so let's go in. Like I said, I'm doing this with you guys first time. Okay, so we open it up, and uh, first thing is we've got uh, the shoe box with the dust bag. Um, normally, uh, you know, if I had gone to the boutique near me, uh, the box would have been in this bag inside of another bag. You've seen all my other videos. Uh, it is cool that they still give you these. I've got a collection of these little dust bags now that I don't really use. I still haven't <laughs> found a really good use for them. I have used one once um, for like a, you know, taking stuff to the beach. I threw a towel and my flip-flops in there and stuff like that. I mean, so like I say, I've got tons of those things now. Maybe I'll sell them on eBay or something. Okay, so let's see what we got. We got uh, the box, shoe box, and uh, we've got an envelope in the bottom. Uh, in here should be, yeah, return shipping label, everything there, uh, receipt, all that cool stuff. So I uh, will throw that to the side as well. Get to the goods. All right, so shoe box. Bam. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty psyched, guys. Um, we got the tag here. <laughs> Check this out. Burberry accepts returns provided this security tag remains attached. Now, it's a good thing I'm making this video, I guess, uh, in case I don't like these. Um, yeah, what the fuck, guys? <laughs> that was... That came loose in the box. So, like I said, say I don't like them or wrong size or something like that. Shit. <laughs> Let's hope they got this right. Okay. So we got the shoes here. Um, yeah, pretty much what I expected from uh, uh, from the photos and everything. So we've got a rubber sole, um, leather all around the front, and then uh, cotton on the back here. Um, so let's get up, up close and personal with them because uh, the photos you get online 
Uh, they only show so much, and uh, Burberry does their special lighting and all that, you know, kind of stuff. I mean, you get a good idea, but this we can really take our time. Um, and the goal of these videos, guys, is, you know, for, like you, if you don't have a place to check these out, if you have to do it online, see, I'm taking kind of a gamble. Yeah, I can return them, but I still have to wait for it and put some money up front to get them and all that stuff. Um, so I'm hoping that by watching my video, you can decide for yourself if, um, you know, if you're going to buy these or not. So the check definitely looks hot. It's the right kind of tone that I like. Um, it's darker, you know, as opposed to like my watch that you've seen that you guys know I dig. It's a little bit darker, which is good. I was hoping for that because they're going to get dirty, their shoes. Um, these are not going to be my everyday stomping shoes for sure. Um, but... Hopefully they won't show some dirt as much. Obviously this will probably get dirty and that's fine. That is what it is. Check that out, man. When you're walking in the snow, like it is here uh, where I live, Minnesota, most months out of the year, people are going to know. <laughs> um, yeah, man, it's cool. They come laced up and everything. Um, so I'm going to try one on real quick. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to try it on and show you what they look like. All right, y'all, we're back. Uh, I've got them on now, as you can see, and uh, so I apologize for the shakiness. We're going uh, hands-on mode with the camera here. Uh, so I've got them on uh, with some of my lucky jeans here, and uh, so, you know, that's kind of how, how they fall there. Uh, so I'm kind of walking around here in my place, and um, if I can show you something. So inside, they're very smooth leather, just like the outside, and as I'm walking... I don't know if the camera can pick it up. Uh, I'll check when I edit the video. Uh, you definitely hear your foot kind of slipping around in there. And I definitely got the right size. So don't get me, you know, don't blow me up for that. Uh, they definitely fit right. Um, I think it's just, it's so smooth of a leather in there. Your foot kind of moves around a little bit. And then you hear it kind of doing that as you're walking around. Uh, not a big deal. Um, and like I said, my foot kind of slides around a little bit. Uh, they definitely are the right size, though. So that is what it is. Um, I mean, I'm not crazy. I know it's the jeans I'm wearing. Uh, I kind of wish you saw a little bit more of the pattern, but you know, again, that is what it is. Depending on what jeans you wear, um, you know, more or less will show. Uh, so as far as, you know, what they are, I can't do my usual wait 30 days and tell you what I think um, because. I'm sure with like with most retailers, they don't really want you to wear them for a month and bring them back. I'm just going to have to make a verdict on this right now. And you know, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to hang on to them. Um, you know, for I've had my eye on them for for too long to uh, you know, send them back now. My only gripe um, one is, you know, the kind of jeans I wear, the fit uh, you can't really see as much of this as I would like. Um, you know, that is what it is. That's just a personal thing. Um, as far as the, you know, fit and finish, yeah, I, th I think they're cool, man. I mean, a normal pair of sneakers, so I bought these right, you know what I mean? On sale, 500 bucks. Yeah, get fucked. Um, but they were on sale for 210 Now, think about, yeah, 210 bucks for fucking sneakers. What the hell is this guy doing? I mean, yeah... But think about it, you're going to go out and you're going to get some Pumas or, you know, something like that. You're going to spend 90, 100, 110 bucks anyway. This isn't that much more. And it goes with all, you know, all my accessories, you know, all the Burberry shit I got. Um, it just ties it all in together. So for the, for the price I got them at, I'm not, I got no heartburn about it. You know, your mileage may vary. Now, like I say, the sale's going on now and they run it twice a year. So if you're looking at all my videos for Burberry this and that, and uh, you're trying to pick some shit up, definitely wait for the sale, guys. And go to their website. I think you can put in your email and get all sorts of Burberry shit all the time. And they'll let you know when the sale's on. Now, for the sales, once you get that email, you, you need to already know what you want. And you need to just hit it. Uh, I mean, I'm serious. I missed uh, a pair similar to these last fall. 
I kind of, you know, do, do I want them, do I not? Uh, I missed it. They sold out of my size right away. Scope out what you're looking for, and when you get that email about the sale, you need to snipe that shit. And that's how I got these, because I think they're sold out of most of the sizes already. So that is what it is, guys. I'm going to call this a win. Like I said, especially for the price, for what I'm holding in my hand, and you guys know me, you can see my channel. I, I love my Burberry shit, even though their customer service sucks. You know, I do I do like their, their stuff. Um, so for... 500 bucks. I I would not buy these. Me personally, I would have passed on them. That's why I waited for the sale uh, for the price I got them at. Yeah, sure, man, because like I said, you're going to spend that money for some Pumas anyway. You're going to be halfway there. Why not get some shit that nobody else has? Because I guarantee you when I'm rocking these, nobody else is going to be having them. Uh, I'm probably one of the few in the state to have something like this. That, that may be a little much, but you know what I'm saying. I, I don't like to blend in with the crowd. That's not me. That's not what I do. Uh, so that is what it is. I'm going to call them a win, and uh, we'll catch you guys later.